this is not a speech. This is just this is the way it is. And everywhere I've gone with my presentation, I'm getting the same thing. I, I had lunch with a guy yesterday afternoon who's an absolute expert in this real-time data analysis, and he's working for a major, and they're trying to get it done. And I say, oh, man, where have you been all my life? I love talking to this guy because he's doing the right thing, and he's not alone. It's throughout the industry. It's pervasive. We don't want another spill ever, but guess what? Since McConnell, there have been a number of them. And there's one problem that keeps occurring relative to spills. We're mandated by the EPA to use dispersants equivalent to Corexit. Corexit has some bad faults, including toxicity and very, very slow reaction. It won't clean oil off of uh, estuaries grasses, the bottom of, of streams, uh, the bottom of the seafloor. So it's just not a good product. But the EPA mandates we use it. There's an alternative. There may be a multitude of alternatives, but I happen to know about one that I think is a very good choice. And that is the enzyme-based bioremediation agents that don't add non-indigenous bacteria to the water. All they do is add enzymes to get the local bacteria very hungry for oil. And all the tests being run around the world, by the way, these products are being used everywhere except the United States, show this to be far, far superior to the correction type dispersants. The EPA has said, no, bioremediation is bringing in non-indigenous bacteria. We'll never, never approve for uh, navigable waterways. Well, there are bioremediation agents that add really oil-hungry bacteria. And I don't happen to disagree with the EPA on that, except they call OSE2 as an example of an enzyme-based bioremediation agent they classified it along with the other bioremediation agents that have bacteria in them. It has no bacteria in it. It's an enzyme. It's it an makes enzyme. the indigenous bacteria hungry. And it works fast. And it takes it <coughs> off the gas plant. It takes it off the bottom. It doesn't allow this big cloud of gunk to circulate around the Gulf. And the Sierra Club wants to help the industry. We're doing the best we can not to have any more spills. You guys want to help? Help us get this through the EPA. I'm, I'm telling this everywhere I go.